we have a system what's called a two-stage anaerobic digestion process. The capital expense is not cheap, right? But then if you, um, for the right conditions, you can get very short payback periods, right? So if you have the right conditions where somebody pays a lot, like in the rural areas where we're paying a lot for getting rid of the waste, we have a need for the effluent as a fertilizer and we have a need for the energy, then I think it becomes cost effective. Concern of some digester uh, operators is that these systems could be unstable, especially when you're treating very high strength organic waste. And um, the two-stage system that we've been operating has shown that it's extremely stable for that type of waste. And we can actually also accommodate the extreme fluctuation in waste produced. So like a college campus, sometimes we produce a lot of waste and sometimes we produce in the like breaks very little waste. And so that's not necessarily something a biological process likes to see, but this process seems to be very adaptable to that kind of process, uh, conditions. And so that's a good thing. If supermarkets, the food waste was generated at supermarkets, um, you put that in digesters. And this, the question is whether you put it in very small systems or regional scales. There's another concept where actually food waste or these kind of wastes could be added to municipal wastewater treatment plant digesters. A lot of digesters like in Potsdam have extra capacity uh, to, for extra waste. And so you could add that waste directly to those, then you don't have to build the infrastructure because it's already there, and you gain the benefit of any extra energy generation, which then could be used in a, in a municipality. I think people need to learn about anaerobic digestion in, ge in general, uh, that it's a safe process, that it's a very stable process. And then I think the next step is really how can we collect food in a fashion that it's most amenable to adding it to a food digester. So if you think about a community trying to get involved in putting organic waste in a digester, it has to be clean. It has to have very little contamination in terms of plastics, metals and other things. And so we need to tr um, educate the community and saying, this is how we want to do this and this is how it benefits the digester the best. If you have clean waste, then you have the upfront cost of cleaning your waste is not there and that makes it even more cost effective.